How's it going and welcome back. So yesterday y'all know I went into North Bay and of course I come home with this wireless guitar system. I have no intentions of buying, but I did anyways. Well, while I was there, I went to the Hawk shop and I found Van Halen 1984. Really hard CD to find. Even harder to find on cassette. But anyways, um, so my Van Halen CD is in perfect condition. It looks it anyways, but it doesn't want to work in my uh, CD slash DVD player that is hooked into my stereo in the studio. Yet it doesn't seem to have a problem on my Apple Super Drive on my Mac. <laughs> Go figure. But I don't play my CDs on my Mac. I don't necessarily like ripping them to the Mac either too much. I'd rather just play them through the home stereo. Anyways, so it doesn't want to mount. So I clean the CD, mounts once. Okay, try it again this morning. Doesn't want to mount. I need to fix this. All right, so there's obviously something funky with the CD somewhere or I don't know. But all my other CDs work in that DVD player anyway. So I'm going to blame the CD in this case. So I already have made a backup, so I know this is successful. But I want to show you guys how to actually make a burned CD or backup CD uh, on your Mac in case you haven't quite figured out what's going on here. Why isn't this working? So Mac OS 12.3.1 is our current OS, okay? AKA also known as Monterey, or I like to call Monterey Cheddar Cheese. All right, anyways. So, first of all, you got to obviously rip your CD to your Mac. It's going to put it in your music program because we don't have iTunes anymore, which really sucks. iTunes made life so much simpler. This program, on the other hand, a little bit different, okay? So, if we look at our, into all of our play, playlists, we've got our playlist down here, but you're always going to see a list, which, if I can get back to it somehow... There we go, songs. So in songs, this is where our big collection is, right? Well, from default, music app will not have check marks available in boxes. These boxes won't exist for you. So this is gonna prevent you from actually burning a music CD. I mean, you can do MP3s, default, no problem. Have fun, knock yourself out, but I don't want MP3s. You don't want MP3s. You want to throw that thing into the CD player and just let it go, right? So, and you want to be able to have full control over it too, obviously, right? So, song, 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 skip, punch in a specific number, away you go, you're good, right? So, to make an exact copy of a factory CD is what we're doing here, okay? So, for that, you need to go up to music to preferences and you have to make sure that you put a little check mark in the little thing that says songs list check boxes. That will not be check marked by factory default, okay, on the OS. And then you click OK. Now, your next step, insert a blank CD into your burner. Okay, now it doesn't have to be a Apple Super Drive like I have. You can actually use any compatible Mac PC burner on your Mac, not a big deal, okay? So it's going to eventually come up with a dialog. You say, yes, open in Finder. Okay. Do not try dragging and dropping. This is not going to go well for you. Okay. Um, so you need to go down here to playlists. Click on Van Halen 1984. Because the title must also be precisely duplicated as per the factory CD. Now you will have two places in which you can now say burn it. Number one is you go to file and you say burn playlist to disk. Or number two, just go over here to this little box and do the same thing, which is what we're going to do. But it does have other options here that you can now also see. Now you can also customize the disk uh, ahead of time and remove certain check marks because um, you don't want certain things to be done. Or you can just, you know, one at a time even from this area. There's multiple different ways to do things. All right, so we're going to hit burn. Now, once I hit this burn button, I'm going dead silent. And I will fast forward that section for you because this is going to take a few minutes. Okay. But leaving all this at default is default setup. All right. Or you can choose to make a specific MP3 CD now because you're choosing it. Right. 
Um, or you can do data CD or DVD, whatever, right? Uh, you can change your timing gap between songs. So I'm just leaving this all default. So I'm going to hit burn, and I'm going to be silent for a minute anyways. And we're done. And we now have Van Halen-1984 on our desktop. We can now take that CD and eject it and throw it into any music CD player we want and it'll play as long as that CD player is compatible with burnt media after all. So now I have a perfect backup copy um, because obviously my original is not going to work in my CD player. Um, like I said, I don't play CDs on my Mac and I don't like to rip them to the Mac either other than for this purpose, obviously. But um, it's not that difficult to do this, right? But I found a little bit of a challenge myself with OS 12 and this music program. Things are different than iTunes. I wish Apple would have just left things well enough alone. It's kind of like, what works? Leave it, right? We all loved iTunes. Um, but anyways, there is ways around everything, of course. And um, this is just how you do it on the new Mac OS and with the music program. This will probably be the same process as uh, Big Sur as well, OS 11. Um, you know, so I, I wouldn't think there would be any difference, but I don't have a computer here with Big Sur to verify that. So if you have Big Sur, not Monterey, you know, give it a shot and see if it's going to be the same process for you. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, we're, we're done. We're ready to rock. And now we have a viable CD that definitely does work in my DVD player. And uh, I can play, I can control my songs, I can do whatever I want now, so fantastic. And I can still keep my original CD, which I'm going to, um, because if I ever needed to make yet another copy from that, I could, or whatever, you know. Uh, but um, either way, voila, that's it, done, and I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.